love this. Okay. Um, all of this is going to be for a French recipe today. I'm so excited. Now, if you have absolutely, well, I don't want to say no class, but if you're very American and you can call it clafoutis, but it's clafouti. And it is from this fabulous cookbook that I found on Monet. And if you really look around, you can find some great cookbooks and, and kind of exciting things with beautiful pictures. Some of the recipes are way too complicated. I was thinking yesterday, I was looking at, I'm gonna take these off so I can see. Um, Diane Keaton, I mean, this is a Diane Keaton, these glasses, but her Instagram cracks me up. She does a thing where she comes in and she's got on this bright orange, she looks like a pumpkin, she's ready for Halloween, and she wants to do her Tuesday tacos. But her tacos, because she's so famous, she can turn around and open up a, a package of soft tortillas, and um, but she calls them tacos. Okay, I'm gonna do my tacos. She puts them in a frying pan, dumps some cheese on it, folds them over, has a couple bowls of tomatoes and things on the side, like cauliflower and, and broccoli and of course everybody goes oh my god it's Diane Keaton I love it I mean I wanted it so um this is my version everybody is doing this online now I mean we're at a time when it's weird right I mean I feel kind of spooked sometimes by it and I think well I just keep cooking and looking in my garden and trying to do things that'll make me feel normal again and this is my normal kind of 60s homemade stuff so this clafou tea is so simple what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a little butter on this dish and um, this this dish is fun isn't that pretty looks very French and butter the insides of this right okay we've done that then the next thing these cherries these are Bing cherries or whatever kind of cherries you can find in season and you take the stems and Jake will edit it so you can see the process of using a pitter and you get rid of the pits. The French or some people leave the pits in for flavor. And so when you're taking a bite of pie, you gotta be really careful not to get a pit. But I like to pit them. And here we're gonna put them all in here. You put them all like this. And this stuff stains, I gotta tell you, so be careful. Um, I'm going to probably take out the few because there's too many here because you want it to line the bottom of the pan without, you know, taking up all the space for, I'll take a few of these, but you want to have it comfortably, uh, your cherries on the bottom. Boy, I thought that would fill that, um, exactly, but we got a few extras. Okay. Right there. Pretty, right? Now, those, and see my hands? Uh, these guys, once you put the, um, the rest of the batter on, it's going to be so nice. So, batter. What we're going to do is I will take the flour, and Jake will give you the measurement. And this is uh, the sugar. We're going to put in this. I'm going to put in milk. If this is familiar to you, it's right on the way to doing a popover recipe or um, what else? French crepe, something like that. Very simple. Put this in and one, two eggs. You're going to love this recipe. So easy. Take a whisk. My Mackenzie Child's whisk. Mackenzie Child's, notice me, please. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do this. Molly, did I leave anything out? Mm -mm. Okay. I love having my kids here. It's so nice. We keep kind of six feet apart the best we can. Um, but I love my kids. And, and they are tested regularly to protect their mommy. Okay, here we go with this. Now, here we go. This just gonna pour it on here. Okay, I'm gonna come around and show you. All right.
this as always, I try and show you recipes, a lot of them that I have not done before, so I have a little bit of a fear in my heart that I've screwed it up and and, and I, you just will never know. <laughs> but Julia Child screwed up all the time, right? Whenever you watched her. Okay. All right, now we're gonna put a little bit more sugar on the top, shake that in so it's all settled. And this is the remainder of the sugar that you're gonna put on the top. Keep those cherries sweet. Okay. All right, everybody. I put a little bit less on. Now you're gonna put this into a 350 oven for 40 minutes and, and we will count and see Put our timer on and we'll be back in 40 for you to see what it looks like. Um, hi, this is kind of what we're going to call the tag scene. For this particular recipe, I want you to know that they don't always work out perfectly. And I made the clafouti um, from the cookbook, the um, Monet cookbook. And something about it, I just, it, it, there wasn't enough batter for it. There were a few too many cherries. So when you um, put your cherries in, put just a few less than I did. Don't completely fill the bottom, but almost fill the bottom. The other thing I noticed, I tried another recipe and it was the Martha Stewart recipe and she used, let's see, I have here, the clafu tea from the Monet cookbook had a cup of flour, um, uh, a half, you have to be able to see, a cup of flour, um, half a cup of super fine sugar, and it had two eggs. Martha Stewart also had two eggs, but she added a large egg yolk. She only did a third a cup of flour. She put cream, creme fraiche plus three quarters of, of a cup of milk and the sugar. I'm gonna post all of the recipes because I want you to see the difference here. Um, the second uh, pie looked gorgeous and as you can see here. And um, my feeling is, I read something, let me find this on my phone real quick. Um, somebody wrote in um, about the Martha Stewart recipe. I'm gonna find it here for you and read it. Somebody who was from France who saw it. Sylvia, you might take note of this. Somebody wrote about Martha Stewart's recipe with the egg yolk and the creme fraiche. She said, this is not how you make a clafouti, the specialty of my French hometown. You never use creme fraiche and you always use whole unpitted cherries. Gives a subtle almond flavor. Sorry, I'm not gonna use cherry pits. Um, no vanilla extract, but a dash of rum or kirsch. Did I say that right? Kirsch, kirsch? Um, See how much I drink? I, it just shows here. There's also uh, way too little flour in this recipe. You basically need to make a crepe batter. So with that, I realized my French crepes that my mom always made were so, so simple. And um, so that was a half a cup of flour to uh, two eggs and two thirds a cup of milk. And I would double that. Somewhere in there, in those three recipes, you're gonna find it. And this is a great example of cooking um, at its toughest and its most challenging and fun is where you get a recipe and you think, God, it's gorgeous, but it doesn't taste exactly right. The first one didn't have enough batter and I didn't think it looked as great. It was kind of too dense and too heavy on the cherries. The second one had a lot of the batter and it was fluffed up really nicely, but something still wasn't quite right. So I'm going to post all three of the recipes and good luck to you and um, happy clafouti. Au revoir.